The Princess of Wales shone that evening when she joined Prince William at a Buckingham Palace reception while wearing a glittering dress and golden heels. The Duchess of Cambridge wore 590 pound Oscar de la Renta shoes with her gorgeous Erdem gown. For the occasion, Kate kept her hair simple by half updoing her loose curls. The monarch first greeted a select group of dignitaries, including Sir Dominic Asquith, the British High Commissioner to India, former Minister Boris Johnson, and the Indian Finance Minister. The Duchess of Cambridge, who shone brightly in a gold metallic and pink silk dress by Erdem and 590-pound platinum shoes by Oscar de la Renta, was the star of the show. With a set of drop earrings by Indian fashion designer Anita Dongra, she completed the ensemble. During her visit to Mumbai, the Duchess wore a piece by Miss Dongra. The Indian national bird, the enormous peacock, was projected onto the Buckingham Palace exterior outside, so that onlookers in London could join in the festivities. Kate and Prince William spent time mingling with the prominent guests, appearing at ease and deeply in love. They gazed at a collection of priceless royal collection artifacts on exhibit. At one point, the Duchess gave her husband a delicate touch by placing her hand on his back. Among those there were actress Aisha Dhaka, famed Indian cricketer Kapil Dev, Sitarist Anoushka Shankar, daughter of the legendary Ravi Shankar, and her husband, director Joe Wright. As he moves through the line, Prince William smiles, closely followed by his wife, the Duchess of Cambridge. The national bird of India, the peacock, was depicted as a moving image inside Buckingham Castle. At the opulent occasion, the Duchess of Cambridge converses with Chef Vikas Connor, on the right. A number of priceless items from the royal collection were put on exhibit in the Palace Picture Gallery as part of the celebration. Treasures of the William and Kate Admire family. One of them was a shawl that Gandhi had made on his loom for Princess Elizabeth as a wedding gift in 1947. The little thing is made out of doubled yarn of my own spinning. Please give the bride and the bridegroom this with my blessing with the wish that they would have a log and happy life of service of man. Yours sincerely, M.K. reads the handwritten note that Gandhi sent to Lord Mountbatten, then Viceroy of India, along with the shawl. But I'm so frustrated